Hi, my name is Ethan. Hi, my name is Justin. Hi, my name is Brandon. And today, we're going to make walking, walking on water shoes. And we're going to walk on water. Here are the materials we used. Gorilla tape, markers, duct tape, spray paint, sandals, flex seal, knife, saw, big broom handle, and also we used a thick pool noodle. First we measured and cut our broom handle in half. Smoothing it with sandpaper kept us from getting slivers. Cut the pool noodle in half lengthwise. For the base of our water shoes, we used a big box and cut it in half. The pool noodles were trimmed to fit the box. Extra pool noodle clippings were used to secure the broomstick handles. Gorilla tape was important to keeping everything together. We took the cardboard from an extra box, taped sandals onto the cardboard, as well as the poles, and inserted it into the box. We gorilla taped all around the box and patched up any holes. We also added the pool noodle to the bottom of the shoes with Gorilla Tape. Now it's time to spray the Flex Seal. Flex Seal helps make the water shoes water resistant. Time to decorate. Ashley and Brandon decorate their side and Ethan and Justin decorate the other. Now we'll try them in the water. Brandon goes first since he's the smallest and the lightest of all of us. Now Ashley's turn. Dad helps her out. It's hard to keep the legs from doing the splits. Time for Justin. He's getting the hang of it, but using the poles and pushing them down to disperse his weight. But it's taking on a little water. Ethan's turn. He's got a good technique, pushing down as he walks, but eventually he starts to take on water. Of course, once the water shoes get soggy, the integrity of the cardboard is compromised. What better to do than use them as boats? All in all, this was a fun project, but I think there's ways to improve. But even when water shoes are sunk, you still can't go wrong at the beach. Thanks for watching our video. Bye!